Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply K-modoid clustering algorithm for the given data set so that we can form different clusters. This is the solved example number two. Link for other example is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with 10 data points. Given this particular data set, we need to apply K-modoid clustering algorithm to form two clusters. We need to use the Euclidean distance formula to find the distance between data point and the medoid here. In k clustering algorithm, from the given uh, data points, we need to select uh, two data points randomly because we want to form two clusters here. So we need to select uh, two data points randomly and then we need to initialize them as the initial medoids over here. So in this uh, case, I have selected 1,4 and 10,4 as the two medoids. That is uh, C1 is equal to 1,4 and C2 is equal to 10,4 here. Now, once you select uh, two medoids, we need to find the distance from these particular medoids to each of these particular data points here. That can be done with the help of Euclidean distance. Let us say that x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the two data points. The Euclidean distance between these two data points is always equal to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square here. With this note, the distance from this particular medoid that is 1, 4 to the first data point that is 1, 4 is equal to x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square that is square root of this one which is equivalent to 0 here. Similarly, the distance from this particular medoid to the second data point that is 5 comma 1 is equivalent to 5 here. With the same note, we need to find the distance from this particular medoid to each of these particular data points and they look something like this. Next, we need to find the distance from the second medoid to all other data points. They look something like this. After that, we need to do the comparison between these two distances here. For first data point, this is the first distance and this is second distance. Between these two, 0 is the minimum here. The meaning of this one is the first data point is assigned to C1 here. Similarly, between these two, 5 is the minimum. The meaning of this one is second data point is again assigned to C1 here. Similarly, we have to do the comparison and then we need to assign these particular data points to different clusters. After the first cluster assignment, 1, 2, 3, 4 data points are assigned to C1. Remaining all data points are assigned to C2 here. Now, after the cluster assignment, we need to calculate the total cost of this particular cluster assignment. To calculate the total cost of a cluster assignment, we need to calculate the cost from a medoid point to all other medoid points within that particular cluster. And then we need to calculate the distance from a medoid point to all other uh, non-medoid points in the another cluster also. And then we need to take the summation here. Now to calculate the total cost, first we need to know how to calculate the cost between the medoid point with non-medoid point. That is the cost of C, x. C is the medoid point and x is the non-medoid point which is equal to summation of cardinality of Ci minus Xi overall i in this particular case. Where i is the total number of, uh, you can say that the features within a data point over here. In this case, we have two, what is that called as the features in this case. So the total cost is equal to cost from 1 comma 4 to 5 comma 1, 1 comma 4 is the medoid, 5 comma 1 is the non-medoid here. Similarly, cost from 1 comma 4 to 5 comma 2, 1 comma 4 to 5 comma 4, that is what I have written here. Similarly, 10 comma 4 is a medoid point and remaining are the non-medoid points, we need to find those particular distances also. Now, how to calculate this particular distance? That is the cost from 1 comma 4 to 5 comma 1, which is equal to cardinality of Ci minus Xi, that is nothing but 1 minus 5 that is cardinality of 1 minus 5 plus cardinality of 5 4 minus 1 here. Now similarly we have to do it for all other uh, possibilities and once you do this particular calculation that is the cardinality of 1 minus 5 is equal to 4, cardinality of 4, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and once you solve this particular equation you will get 108 as the total cost of this particular cluster assignment. Now, we have selected two random medoids and then we got the total cluster cost is equal to 108. Now, this may be the final answer, but before we make sure that these are the two clusters, we need to select two different medoids and then we need to calculate the total cost of those particular cluster assignment. And then we need to do the comparison between this cluster cost and then the new cluster cost over here. For that reason, what I will do is I will select two different medoids here that is 5 comma 4 as the first new medoid and 25 comma 7 as the second to second medoid here. Now I will replace C1 with C3 and C2 with C4. Now C1 will become 5 comma 4 and C2 will become 25 comma 7 here. Again the same procedure we need to find the distance from C1 to all other data points. 
C2 with respect to all other data points, they will look something like this. Once you calculate the distance, we need to assign these particular data points to one of these particular clusters. In this case, so the first five data points are assigned to C1 and remaining five data points are assigned to C2 over here. Once this particular assignment is done, again we need to calculate the total cost of this particular cluster assignment. To calculate the total cost for the current cluster assignment, we will use the same formula what we have used in the previous iteration. What we do is we will calculate the cost from a metoid point to non metoid point from that particular cluster. The same thing will be done for the second cluster also. And then we will add all those particular costs so that we will get the total cost over here. So the total cost of this particular cluster assignment is equal to cost from 5 comma 4 to 1 comma 4. Here 5 comma 4 is a metered point and 1 comma 4 is a non metered point here. Similarly, cost from 5 comma 4 to 1 5 comma 1, cost from 5 comma 4 to 5 comma 2, cost from 5 comma 4 to 10 comma 4 here. For the second uh, cluster, 10, 25 comma 7 is the metered point. We will find the cost from 25 comma 7 to all other uh, 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 data points in this particular case. Now we need to solve this particular cost equation. Once you solve this particular cost equation, you will get the total cost is equal to 23 in this particular case. Now once you get this particular total cost for the current cluster assignment, we do the comparison between this particular total cost with previous total cost. The previous uh, total cost was 108 and the current total cost is equal to 23 here. Using these two things, we calculate something called as the swapping cost here. The swapping cost is always equal to current total cost minus the previous total cost, which is equal to minus 85 in this case. The meaning of this particular thing is the current total cost is less than the previous total cost, which means that the current assignment is better than the previous assignment over here. So we will ignore the previous assignment and then we will continue from here onwards. Now, uh, what we do over here is we will select uh, two more metoids randomly. In this case, I have selected 10, 4 and 29, 7 as the new metoids. So 10, 4 will become C1 and 29, 7 will become C2 over here. Now we do the uh, same calculation that is uh, the distance from these particular metoids to all other data points. They look something like this. Once this particular distances are calculated, the data points are assigned to one of these particular clusters based on the distance here. The one which is having the minimum distance to which this particular data points belongs over here. So once you do this particular assignment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are assigned to C1, remaining 6 to 10 are assigned to C2 over here. The clusters will look something like this. Again, we need to calculate the total cost of this particular cluster assignment. Once you solve this particular equation, you will get 46 as the total cost for this particular current cluster assignment. Again, we need to do the uh, calculation of a swapping cost. Swapping cost is equal to current total cost minus previous total cost, which is equal to 23 in this case. Now, if you do this particular comparison, the current total cost is more than the previous total cost, which indicates that the previous assignment is the better assignment compared to current assignment over here. So what we do here is we will stop because the previous assignment was better compared to the current uh, cluster assignment. The meaning of this one is the previous clusters, whatever we got, they are the final clusters of this particular given data set over here. So this is the simple process we need to follow in k metered clustering algorithm to divide the data set into different clusters. I hope the concept of k metered clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.